What's happening, people? Welcome to the United Stand. I'm back from sunny Barcelona. I'm back from the Blues into sunny Manchester for the Coca-Cola and Premier League event. Um, this is the Premier League Trophy Tour, man. It's where they bring the Premier League trophy all around the country to different cities and bring you, the fans, closer to the trophy and the Premier League. Now, you guys saw the launch of this when I spent some time with Jesse Lingard down there in London and Jermaine Genus. This is the second part of that. And today, I'm going to be speaking to Man United great, Man United legend, Gary Pallister formed that formidable centre-back partnership with Stevie Bruce all those years ago. I'm going to see what he has to say about this great um, initiative. And they've got FIFA stuff here going on, FIFA challenges where the people can, um, who went out and win can win match tickets and different things like that. They've also got something interesting where you can recreate um, famous goals as a commentator. And I think the Manchester United one is that Rooney overhead kick against City. So I'm going to have a go at doing that. And will I take a picture with the Premier League knowing that that's the closest me or my team are going to get to it for a while? Probably yes, I will. So let's take a look, man. And we're also going to see what people think for this top four race because it is hotting up. Kind of like the weather in England right now. Let's take a look and see what we've got. Okay, people, I'm here with Manchester United legend Gary Pallister. Gary, I'm not going to lie, a lot bigger, I thought. Massive. <laughs> well, they haven't grown any. Also, like, I've actually shrunk a little bit since he had me back up, so, you know what I mean? It's a good job he didn't come across me in my playing days. Connect, taking a few inches off. I mean, listen, we're here at the Coca-Cola Premier League event. Great campaign where everyone plays. Just before we talk about all things United, etc., etc., you've played in this league um, many years ago, but you know, what do you make of this campaign and what it, what it does? Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, it's just telling everybody that everybody can be a part of it. Um, you know, you're talking about the fans and, uh, and people behind the scenes at the clubs, the players, obviously, who, who take the bulk of the appreciation. But it's about everybody following the football clubs and being passionate about football. So it's fantastic. And it gives a chance to the, for the fans to be able to do that, doesn't it? Because you look yeah. at the modern age footballer as well, you know, you like so your Jesse Lingards and stuff, and you look at the gap that they're kind of bridging between them themselves and the fans. Do you like that sort of thing, that players getting involved in social media and kind of bringing fans into their world? I, I, I think it's got a positive. I think sometimes it has a negative Absolutely. as well. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And they can get themselves in trouble with that kind of stuff. Yeah. But no, I think it's great. I think, um, it, you know, in my time, I, for instance, we used to walk across the car park at, at Old Trafford, walk into the, the stadium, sign a few autographs along the way, yeah. do the same coming out. And now fans can't really get next to the players, get close to the players, you know what I mean? And, and, and get, get, get that kind of interaction. So it's nice to see it come back like that. It's nice to see Jesse being able to talk to his, his, his public, if you like. Mm. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's it's all about the fans. The fans are the biggest biggest thing in football, I think. Mm. What would you, you know, back in the 90s, you know, it's a very different game, very different industry football, wasn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah. what would you think you would have been like with, you know, the modern day, as a modern day footballer now? Do you think you... <laughs> um, I don't know. I was quite quiet, I guess, back even back in my day. I mean, we had we had some kind of extrovert show here. We had we had Sharpie. Yeah. Uh, who, who's, who had the, uh, the, the 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 women celebration chasing him and, yeah, and exactly. the celebration <laughs> and his own. Not that for you at the time. All, not really. No, it didn't work, really work for defenders. I've got to say, Inzi, it was quite lively up the pitch. We had characters like that. Um, well, yeah, I mean, it, it's great that you have got people. People who, who, who are willing to, to be open and engage and, uh, and and show that they're enjoying themselves. That's what football's all about anyway. Mm. It's about enjoyment and, you know what I mean, I think we're seeing a little bit of that sort of football coming back. I think at, at times football's gone a little bit negative. It's great to see. I mean, the, the Tottenham Man City game the other night. I wow. Mean, I mean, what Absolute a spectacle. Absolute shootout. Sensation. Yeah, shootout. It was just who can score the most goals. Yeah. And, and that's and that's the kind of football I grew up with as a kid. And you know, I mean, I, I think it's it, it's great to see games like that inspiring mm. a new generation. Mm. I mean, speaking of exciting football and, and our club, Manchester United. I mean, yes, we're in a, another transition period. Oli's come in and fantastic. He's got the job and stuff like that. In a little bit of bad form at the moment, but you know, like he said, he's looking forward yeah, to the tough got, games coming up. You've got to remember, we played uh, Barcelona, who yeah. were probably the best club side in the world. Uh, PSG weren't mm. too bad either. Obviously, the two games against Wolves were a little bit disappointing. 
Um, you know, we struggled against it. I don't know, listen, yeah, Ollie's new into this kind of size of Absolutely. job. Do you know what I mean? He had a, a great reaction when he first came in. Um, but I, 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 you know, I mean, there's, we need to fix that certain things. Mm. And uh, I think he'll address that in the summer. I think there will be people leaving and there will be people coming in. Mm. Um, I'm sure he, he's already drawn up a list of players that he, that he he's wants. He's been saying he has, hasn't he? Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, I'm sure he has. What well, type of summer do we need to have? Because you look at last season's we summer and it was a bit underwhelming, if you'd say, at the most. And it, it was a bit difficult because, like I said, we only got Fred and Lee Grant a lot. But what kind of overhaul do you think we need this summer? And can it be done in, in one in one you know, transfer maybe window? Not, I, maybe not. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the, the kit is, is going to yeah, be there for, exactly. for Ollie to use. As I say, I think there will be players, players leaving. Um, whether they're the really big names or, or, or what, I, I do not know. He, he's got to sit down with Mickey Field and Michael Carrick, the, uh, the, uh, the directors of football, and, and have a chat about which way we go forward. I mm. mean, it's, you know, I think he was really frustrated the other night after the Barcelona game with Oli. And, um, you know, it could have been a little bit different. We just scored that goal Especially early. Especially the first 10 minutes yeah, as well. Yeah, first 10 minutes, we started off like a house on yeah. fire. And uh, could have certainly shot two goals in that 10 minutes. It yeah. would have been a different game. Absolutely. But after that, um, I don't know whether we looked tired, we looked a bit fragile. Um, and and that's, the, that's the things you don't expect maybe from a Manchester United side. So he, he'll address all them. He knows, he, he knows what's required. I think we all kind of have an idea what we think is required. Um, but he'll, he'll solve that problem hopefully in the summer. I've got to ask you this as a defender. You spent a lot of your years with Stevie Bruce, you know, one of the most formidable centre-back partnerships in the years gone by, Manchester United famous for their centre-back pairings, you know, Vidic and Ferdinand, etc. You look at it now, a lot of chopping and changing at the centre-half position. We haven't quite found that. You know, Lindelof this morning looked to be doing OK at the minute. Yeah. By the kind of forgotten man. I mean, where do you think we need to go with, with, with in terms of this centre-back pairing? Well, you know, I, I think we need a leader in there. Mm. Um, I think Smalling's had a, had a decent season. Um, you know, Jones, he's had injury problems. Bay, he's had injury problems. Lindelof struggled at the start. He's yeah. looked a, a far Come better player in, yeah. the, in the second half of the season. Whether he can kick on from that and, 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 and sort of cement a place there. I still think you need that dominant kind of centre-half. And I don't like to say it, but the one that Liverpool purchased in yeah. Van Dijk oh, yeah. uh, has had an incredible season for them. He's got everybody talking about him. He wins his headers. He's strong in the tackle. He's piercy. He's not too bad on the ball. So he ticks all the boxes for a, mm. a centre-half, and that's the kind of you that's know the I mean? profile that's, we should that's, be looking that's for. That's the profile you want to be looking for. I don't know. I don't see enough European football now. I know they're looking to Europe um, to, to a couple of centre-halves, um, whether they can get them across the line or not, I don't know. Mm. But uh, it's, you know I mean, it's, it's not the only position that needs addressing. Mm. Top four, finally. Um, wow. It's a big ask. Wow. You know, we've yeah, got to win every yeah. single game listen, more near listen, enough. But yeah, this is the, 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 I think we can make maybe afford a draw. In the, in the remaining games, um, I think this weekend's a massive game. To go to Everton, it's invariably a difficult game. It's a tough place to go. Uh, their form's been up and down. If we can get a win there, I might feel more positive about us yeah, getting the absolutely. top four. Um, but there's there's all kinds of things that can happen if teams win the Europa League now and Champions yeah. League. Might mean top four can't get in the can't get into the Champions League. So, um, are we capable of getting into it? Yeah, obviously I think we we are. But um, we've got to we've got to be a you know, on our game to, mm. to, to qualify. Not much room for slip-ups, is no, there? No, there's absolutely no room for slip-ups now, no. Gary, thank you very much for talking Pleasure, to us. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, yes, OK, we've come to the end of today's excursions and shenanigans. Good to speak to Gary Pallister. Listen, for those of you who don't know Too Young, he was one of the most formidable centre-backs we've ever had. Talk about centre-back partnerships like Ferdinand and Vidic. It was Bruce and Pallister back in the day, man, and he was part of the side that made us win the title for the first time in, like, what, 26 years, I think it was? So um, for a club the size of Man United, that was way too long, and he was part of the first team to actually come back and win that um, first Premier League title under Sir Alex Ferguson. It's been a great day, man. We've got people's top four predictions, some Man United fans feeling confident, some people from overseas, Man United fans confident, um, and I tried my hand at commentating as well, which is actually really good to do. So um, yeah, it was good. A lot of United standards out here as well. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. You know what, me and Josh are always out and about. We're always giving you A1 content vlogs. Now onto the top four, peace. Big respect to all you guys for watching that video. Make sure you check out more United Stand content here and here. Yeah, like, subscribe and share. And the socials are along the bottom. You know what to do. Go get following. Go, 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 go.